Hey, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. So we are getting back into some planner content. I know y'all been missing it and I've been hearing you. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you my planner setup. I'm going to show you some new inserts that I'm using that I created that were a part of our collection club quarterly box, which by the way, if you didn't know that we had a quarterly subscription, we totally do. And it reopens in September on the 1st through the 10th. And that theme is fall themed. It's gonna be so gorgeous. I can't wait for you to see it. And so I created those inserts as a part of that box, but I started using them and I realized how much I love them. So they are available as a digital download. If you are a subscriber, you do get access to digital downloads, which by the way, y'all, I have to be honest, we don't have that many subscribers there. So we include it as a part of the physical box, but it may be going away. We'll see, we'll see, stay tuned. And so I'm going to set it all up. I'm not gonna do a plan with me yet, but I'm gonna share with you in the future a after the pin spread so you can see exactly how I'm using them. They're very detailed, I really love them. And so that's what we're doing today, y'all, and I'm really excited about it. I've been missing you guys in terms of sharing planner content, so we're back. I shared my new schedule, which is going to be three videos a week, planner video, and then a productivity video, which I feel like planning and productivity kind of goes hand in hand. And then we're gonna do an Amazon video every week. We're gonna try to stick to that, okay? So that way we can give you a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and hopefully you enjoy it. So we're gonna change views. I'm gonna go to my overhead view as usual, and I'm gonna show you my planner. I might even do a little flip through, and then we're going to pop those inserts in, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I plan on using them. This is the planner cover that I'm using. So I don't have to keep saying it. You guys know that every single item that I'm going to talk about is from Fancy Plans Co. And it is linked in the description below. So if you have any questions or anything, you can ask me personally since I am the owner of the business and I'll be able to answer any questions that you have, okay? It's this beautiful pink. I haven't changed yet. I'm just really loving this color. And so I think I'm going to stick with this color throughout the rest of the year, but don't quote me on that, okay? All right, so let's open it up. So you'll see the cover here, which is from our last collection club box release, along with the discs and all of the kind of decor pieces that you'll see in here. Well, I'll point it out when you see it like this. Isn't this so pretty? It says, if it doesn't open, it's not your door. I need to give you a close up of this, just so you can see. The theme of the box was a nautical summer. So it's a summer theme box with a nautical twist. But as you can see, there are doors there that are open and there's the beach scene in the background. So this was a part of the Collection Club subscription as well. And there's some other things that you're not gonna see here that was a part of that collection. And we are going to be releasing a fall collection in September. Subscriptions open from the 1st through the 10th. So you'll be able to sign up for our next box if that's what you're thinking and you've been waiting, okay? All right, so I told you guys I was gonna kinda do a flip through. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in this pocket here and then we'll add the inserts that I'm gonna be using and then I'll flip through everything all at once, okay? So I just have some stickers here. So this is just various sticker sheets that I've been using. I always love to have some colorful boxes in here. And then also a, looks like I have a stamp in here sometimes. I might need to mail something, so. I keep a stamp in here, y'all, and yeah, so I've got, this is just one stamp. All right, perfect, so that's what I keep in here, and usually I keep the instructional calendar here for the school year. I'm waiting on that from the teacher. Y'all know we just started school here, so I need to get that from the teacher so I can slide that in the pocket. I like to keep that. It tells me what the kids are learning at various um, weeks of the school year, so that's very handy for me. So you should all ask for that from your teacher if you can get it. It's called an instructional calendar, and it's so useful. Okay, then I have some of our sticky notes in the pockets here. So I've got the oxagons there. And then I've got the page tabs here. I've also got some circles and some squares. So I just keep those in the pockets because I tend to use sticky notes a lot. And I just like having them available in the pockets here. It does bulk up your planner a little bit, but 
since I use them so often, I have to have them. I'm not gonna have a separate system just for sticky notes, although I do, but the sticky notes that I use all the time. Okay, then I have a calendar. This is available in our shop. We have them in two colors, and these uh, were a part of the budgeting box that we released. It was called Financial Wellness. There are still some of those available also, and then this is just a little journaling card, okay? So that's all I keep in my pocket. As you can see, it's pretty simple, and then we get into our planner okay so let's turn to when I last used my planner okay which is not as decorative as usually I would have it be um, I need to purge some inserts out as well and I've been really simple with my planning and not really using it as often as I would like it's been a little bit hit or miss for me um, and that's okay and that's okay so that's kind of why we're doing this whole video to show you guys kind of what's going on with me and my planner and show you what I'm planning on implementing so that I can make sure that I'm using my planner like I should be okay so I'm gonna pull these out those are the new inserts we're gonna be using by the way but I need to put in a new set of these this also came with the most recent collection club box and these come with every single box it says inhale peace exo chaos right okay and this particular layout I'm really loving so this is how the cover of the monthly looked Again, it comes with five weeks and then it came with a blank monthly. I know y'all been asking for this blank monthly. Okay, I'm not sure if we're going to do this for the planner box for this year. We'll have to see because it's a lot of work to go through each one of the inserts just to remove the gray and add this whole look here. But I know you guys want this because I've, I've been listening. Trust me. Okay, so this is how the monthly looks. All right, so let me take those out because the cover is not going to be the same because this was just a part of the box and I needed to have the month. So I've got my August here. All right, so this is what I'm going to be using for the month of August. Can't believe we're in August already. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a quick flip through for you guys so you can see how these look. They're so awesome, and I can't wait to use them. I kind of did a little test run for July. Okay, so you've got a whole lot of stuff going on here, okay? You've got your weekly important here. You've got some slots for that. You've got your habit tracker here, several different habits that you can track. You've got a little small calendar here. It's a monthly calendar. So if you've got some important dates you need to see um, you know, as you get further into the week, it's here. You've got your top three, a checklist here, a little tiny spot for notes. And then you've got your days, Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursday through Sunday is here, along with tasks and some boxes. And then you've got a blank spot here that you can use for anything you'd like. So when I come back by and show you guys how I'm going to be using this I'll have it all pre-filled out and then we'll talk through how I'm using it now how I think I'm going to be using it and again that could change is this going to be for my ministry stuff this is still going to be for tasks and then everything else is pretty much going to be used how I think it's going to be used with the exception of this I'm going to wipe this out and use this for menu planning and then we'll see how my week is structured um, so I love how neutral these are again they come with polka dot or blank spine and five weeks of that and then this is how the ending page looks it's just a blank notes page i don't like the ending page that has like you know what i've been thinking my currently page i don't, I don't really do the currently thing that's why all of our inserts typically have just this ending notes so you could just reflect on your month okay and so this is what i'm going to be using for my main set of inserts for like just my weekly general planning and then i decided that since i love this layout so much which by the way y'all we may release this at some time soon, um, but typically we don't release inserts outside of the box. Unless you're a subscriber, then you get access to the digitals. And we'll see though, because we may add these, because I have a feeling that this is going to be a pretty popular layout. So it's that popular to me, so much so that I'm going to use this as the school planner. So this is how the teacher layout looks as you can see nothing's really filled in here because i've been a slacker and so i'm going to take these out and i'm going to put in those inserts i just talked about and that's what i think i'm going to use for the school planning for the year okay typically i would just pop in one of these inserts here i love these and i keep it here still because it's just they're just so cool especially on those weeks for me when i don't feel like planning in a whole entire planner like this is I would just use these inserts here okay and so same thing that you just saw so with this i'm not quite sure yet exactly how i'm going to use it but i have a feeling that some of these sections may be covered up um so we'll have to see how this ends up working for me in the long run yeah yeah but i'm testing it out everything for me is trial and error 
So we're gonna test it out and see if it's gonna work. And if it doesn't work, I can move on to something else. All right, and this was, or this is my business section and the inserts I was using are our subject style layout inserts. So I'm gonna remove these out and I am going to put in our teacher layout, which is what you just saw. Because I like to have a subject style layout here for business and social because I feel like my brain works in sections and I need to be able to add all of these sections here. You see my to-do list, YouTube, sh short form video, social posts, Amazon, enrichment blog, all of that needs to remain. So I need a layout that's gonna allow me to do that. And this is the only other subject style layout that we have in the shop, again. It's our teacher layout, so it's just your simple layout that has all of these spots here at the top as opposed to them being on the side like this was. So instead of me writing in all of those subjects here on the left hand side, I'm going to write them in at the top and I have one additional spot because this gives me six and this gives me seven for the seven days of the week because that's what you would typically, um, well actually this would be the subjects here at the top as well, but it affords me an extra slot which is great. Okay, and then your days of the week are here so I can write in whatever video I'm doing today if I want an even extra slot or just something important for that day and since I don't really typically work on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday is very small, okay? So this is what I'm gonna use for business and social. And we will see how this ends up working out for me, okay? The other sections in my planner don't really have any, oh, that's interesting. Don't really have any, it's a random page, any uh, dedicated planners. So I only have a dedicated planner in my work section, my financial section, I use something different. And then I have one in the family section, which is the school planner that you just saw. And then I have one in my main calendar section. So those are the three layouts that I'm going to use for the rest of the year. We'll see how that works out for me, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick flip through of my planner so you can see how it looks now, because I'm gonna be making some changes since I'm like all back in again. Y'all know y'all go in and out just like me, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> you know, every now and then you just gotta take a break. And so that, it's okay to do that. Just give yourself grace, okay? So I'm gonna do a quick flip through. We already talked about the cover, the discs. I'm going to be changing some things out soon. So I want you to see how it is now and then I'll do a flip through later of how my new setup is going to look all right and then again this vellum came from that uh, last stationary box so I keep that in here and every single time we have a new box I change my whole setup and I typically do a reel and a TikTok on that so you guys could see the individual items and you can kind of see how I assemble them or how I use them and add them to my planner all right, next up is my 100 things to track in your planner. This is vellum. All Again, all of this stuff is available on our shop, but this just gives you some ideas of some things that you can track in your planner. If you're, you know, I used to be one to just try to figure out what I could write in my planner. I didn't feel like I was busy enough. So this really helps to give you some ideas on some things that you can be tracking in your planner. There's 100 things here. Okay, you don't have to track all the things, but that's helpful. All right, then we get to my table of contents. I just got a little sticky note here um, that has a quote that I like. All right, and then this is everything that's included in my planner. This doesn't really change, so I don't change this out. Uh, these are available as well, but they are available with nothing here so you can write in whatever you have in your various sections. Now, I know some of my sections um, I don't have here anymore because I purged out six of my sections to make my planner less bulky. But when I add them back, all of the stuff will pretty much be in that section, okay? All right, then we get to one of our little pocket dividers. So these were part of the um, the planner box that we did for last year. And these were really popular, came in a set of 12. I love how they have a pocket on them. And so I just took a couple of things in the pocket there, okay? That's my Bible study schedule. And then I have blank uh, affirmation um, notepad sheet. And so I keep that there so I can write in some affirmations if I decide to, and then I switch them out and put new ones in every so often. And then we get to a insert. This was a part of a brain dump insert set that I have. Um, it was a freebie Friday at some point, which I used to do back in the past. I would do a new freebie every Friday. And um, so I only kept the front cover page because it gives me some prompts of some things that I should be thinking out about when I'm doing a brain dump. So I just kept that portion there. Then we get to some task list inserts. I can just dump some things out of my head. So that's why it's in my inbox section. As you saw, the first tab is inbox. And as things just come up into my mind, I just dump them in my task list. 
All right, and then we also have inbox inserts here too. So those are structured a little different. I like to have them both in here. Then I have some sticky notes for habits at the bottom, a few sheets of those. And then my next section is calendar where I have some list notepad inserts in here that I just stuck in here. And on the back side, I have my color code key and habits here that I like to track. And then we get to the year at a glance inserts. Okay, and so this is year at a glance. Love year at a glance inserts because you can plan out your whole entire year. And so I'll come here sometimes and plan by the month and just write everything in. And this has really helped me. Um, and this also is a little um, page divider so that way I can get to this page easily. Then I have a magnetic clip here that was from our Butterfly Garden Collection Club box, or it wasn't a collection club, it was just a collection from the month. It wasn't a part of the subscription, but I have that here, just to hold two pages together. And this actually should be like this, because I need to go ahead and start planning for August. Remember I told y'all, took some time off. So my whole entire July is blank, which is very interesting. Okay, so that's what I've got there. Then I need to purge these inserts out. This was April, I still have in here because, I mean, I, I think I have April and May in here, maybe June. <laughs> so I need to pur purge those out, y'all, because we are not in those months anymore, okay? All right, then I have a meal planner insert in here. This actually can go in home. I have my color code key. And then we get to my calendar section which is what this divider says. I also have a top tab divider that says goals. I'm not sure if you can see that there. So within my goals section, I had some, I had an insert in here, but I think I removed it. So I need to restock on those inserts probably. All right, because it shouldn't go directly to here. All right, should be my goals first and then my calendar section. All right, I showed you how these look. So I am going to go ahead and flip here and put in this page marker that way I can get to this page easily all right and that's what we I've got there I've got a whole set of those just one month is what I typically keep in my planner oh here's my goals <laughs> so that way it doesn't get too bulky so let me move my goals because they should go in the goal section and actually I think I have this out of order I just I think my goals go where I just took the goals out yeah that goes here Okay, so this goes here. And these are my goals inserts. And so these allow me to write in my goals by categories, which is how my brain works. I told y'all my brain works in sections. So we've got all of the different life area goals here, and then you can write in a few goals and then you can start to check them off. All right, so that's what I've got next up in the goals section, along with the progress tracker. And then my 2023 goals vision board, which I do every single year. So I've got that in there. Everything isn't filled out because I was lazy this year. Okay, and then I have a 50 design or 50 best practices for a well-designed life that I printed from Pinterest. And it's, I fold it in half and I just keep that in here. Then we get to the next month section. I've got my calendar sticky notes and then I have a little adhesive pocket here with a journaling card that allows me to track some habits. This is a part of one of our boxes and sometimes I'll keep one just for sentimental reasons um, and I may not necessarily use it. And then we've got our quote sticky notes and our goal sticky notes on the backhand side of that. And then we get to some pre-planning inserts. So this just allows me to plan ahead and that way I don't have to have that full month of inserts in my planner and that really helps. So I've got a few sheets of those and then we get to routines, which is my favorite section. Y'all know how I feel about routines. I have several videos on my channel about them. And so of course I would have inserts just specifically for them and a whole section dedicated to it. Okay, so this is my planner routine. Again, all of these are, inserts are available on fancyplansco.com so you can um, download this or grab this. I'm not, I believe we may have this in digital form, but we for sure have it in physical form. That way you can have a planner routine I have some other things on the back that I wanna make sure I don't forget about. And then we get to my full on daily routines. I'm not going to go too far into this y'all because this is a lot and I already have a few videos about this on my channel. If you want me to do an updated video, let me know and I will, but it's pretty much the same as that video. So these are all of my various routines, okay? Then we get to the home section. I have a project sticky note here just in case I need to 
grab something from Home Depot or Lowe's or some project that I'm working on. I can write that there very quickly. Again, it does have a pocket. I just don't have anything inside of it. Then we have our grid vellum with some sticky notes attached to it. I love the grid vellum because you can line up the sticky note nice and it just looks really nice on, on the background. Okay, then meal planning sticky notes there. Um, and then we have some information for uh, something I was trying to do with the house that I stuck on here. These are our decluttering inserts. I don't have the full set of them because they're really thick, but that was a part of our home management box, still is. And so I just pulled out the challenge pages, all right? Weekly cleaning routine of all the things I do during the week. Projects, different you know things I wanna do around the house. Got a few pages of those. I like to do lots of projects whenever I can. And then we have a whole meal planning uh, workbook. And so I just grabbed the back end of those. I didn't grab the monthly or the weekly pages or the monthly calendar because I think what I'm gonna do is just stick one of these in or either write in the layout like I showed you every single week. So that way I'll have the meal plan there. But I grabbed the back end of those inserts because they are timeless inserts. So it has the family favorites, lunch ideas, school starting back, so we'll need that. Lunchbox ideas, um, same thing as lunch ideas. Items to keep on hand. Um, so I keep some of these pages just because they're just, you know, you could use, you, you just keep them in your planner. You're not necessarily purging them. It takes a little bit of time to fill all of this in because this is household inventory. So you're not going to need to redo this every single week. So I just keep this in and then I purge out the front end and then I add in a new front end when I'm ready. Okay. And then this is my meal planning system. I did a video about this also. I'm going to start to redo some of my older videos because they're just so old and some of them may be outdated with information about some of my processes that I have implemented now when it comes to my planner. So stay tuned for that. Then I've got meal planning, pop-in sheets that have a shopping list that you can cut off, take to the grocery store, some shopping list inserts, and then I get to my family section with a journaling card that came from the budgeting box, and then some another journaling card on the backhand side, and then I don't know what that is. Must, I think that's for Addison's library books. Same inserts I just showed you that I'm gonna be using, okay, for schooling. So I'm hoping that these work out for me. And then I have the back to school checklist that school started for us yesterday. And so this was everything that I did in preparation for that, all right? I need to purge this out because she'll have a new schedule because she's in fourth grade now, but I'm gonna keep that so I can make sure that when I do the new schedule, I'm mimicking it kind of the way this one is. I, I like things to look the same, especially when I when I feel like my handwriting's good. I wanna, I use it as inspiration basically. Things for Malachi, just some ideas that he can do in life, okay? Some date night ideas. And then we get to finances is gonna be next. This is one of our clear sheets that we print wording on that uh, does very well with layering. So this is awesome. We've got a ton of different variety of those. Then we get to, again, finances. I've got a little um, notepad sheet in here with a quote on it, a journaling card there. And then these are the inserts that I use, just the monthly layout for my budgeting, for my personal budget. For our household budget, we do something completely different, okay? This is just for me, social media income, um, brand deals and things like that. So I write in, I'm still working on this monthly, obviously, but I write in all of my personal bills on here, which are on the backhand side of this, okay? And then I write in any money that's coming in from the various sources of income that I have personally, okay? Not the shop, not my husband, just me personally, okay? And then this is the paint swatch card from my house. So these are the paint colors that we're currently using. And I'm not sure what that is on the back, but there's a journaling card here as well. Then we get to, we're in the work section. So the teacher layout, which is what I'm planning on using. See how that works out for me. And then I'm gonna pull these out, you guys, and put them where they go. They go in the current week. Cause I have some information that I use here weekly. All right, so first up, this page marker here that's available in four sizes, either three or four sizes in the shop. I love them because you can add little sticky notes here of things you don't wanna forget. I even have a clear uh, pocket card that you can slide some things in additionally if you need to, and it's got a ruler here, which is great, all right? And then I have, whenever I do YouTube videos, I always structure, um, or I always add one of these inserts in my planner. It really, really helps me because I uh, write in all of the items that I'm gonna be discussing in that particular YouTube video. And typically this is 
my regular YouTube video and then when I go live, I can also use this and it's just so helpful for me to do it that way. And then some other things that I know I need to do like my, you know, create a, a LTK post. So um, I haven't filmed all of these video yet, so I just keep it in here and I just fold it in half. It is a full page insert. All right, then I have a whole ton of social media influencers that I love, that I follow, that I go onto their page and um, interact. And I like to keep a note of those who are kind of like in my similar niche. So I keep that in here also. Then we get to these inserts, which came with one of the stationary boxes as well. I put them in here. I want to figure out how to use them because I like them because they're blank. And I thought maybe I could use them in social media and business planning, but I'm not sure yet. I have to do um, a quick test to see if those are going to stay. All right, then we have another top tab. And this is notes. And I don't know if I showed you guys my top tabs. I showed you the routine top tab. And then I also have goals and next month. And that's what those pre-planning inserts were. So I have goals, routines, next month, and then notes. Those are all of my top tabs. Otherwise, everything else is a side tab. Okay, so notes, I just have some real ideas. I have some blank pages. This is typically where I keep my blank pages and actually I think this goes in the business section. So the notes section isn't necessarily for notes. It's really just a place for me to store my full paper so that I can replenish the other sections of my planner. So I've got, again, trackers here. I've got a list of, and I think y'all, all of this goes in my business planner. I'm not sure why this is back here. Oh, well, maybe I transferred, transitioned this into an actual notes page. Well, maybe I transitioned this into an actual notes section and then also a fill paper section, so which, in which case that should go there because that's blank fill paper. And then these are my notes. So the wish list. And then I've got, I'm still working on doing more videos for Planner University. I think I've got a couple more videos left to go. And then some other um, home management system um, ideas. I wanted to create a whole system for that and that's just a work in progress. Social media feed planner. So these are just how my feed can look um, and some ideas on what I can post and then more ideas. So like make something Monday, um, motivation Monday, handmade Monday, what's going on Wednesday, you know, just some standard like, like a template of what I could post on social and that helps as well. And then a tracker of things that I do and I write the week here at the top. I, I don't like to waste. So even if it's older, I just keep it in here until I can fill up the whole page. And then these are my stats, which are completely different now because I know for a fact I'm at 105K on Facebook. I'm at 62K on Instagram. Last time I checked, I was at 58. And then I'm at almost 250, like 243 on YouTube. I don't really do TikTok. I mean, not TikTok. I don't really do Insta, uh, Twitter. And y'all, my TikTok has blown up. I'm at, um, I think, 34,000 on TikTok. I was at 6,000 in September. Okay. I was at 6,000 last time I checked. Okay, and then my Pinterest, I'm at 12,000. So I'm growing, y'all, which is a great thing. That's why these are so important. So that way you can see what your progress is. All right, then I have these project inserts of things just for business that I keep in here and some other just random sheets, okay? So I am going to clean this out of it. I mean, it, it is pretty much clean, but I'm gonna be tweaking it and adding some things and you'll see the new setup at some point in the future soon, okay? I also keep sticky notes back here, the circle sticky notes. We have this available in the shop that comes with, I believe, 10 sticky notes and then this little sheet here and you can create something similar to this, okay? So I did a mixture of small, large circles and then on the back as well. I told y'all I use sticky notes a lot. Then I had this little card holder that has some stickers in here, some washi, a little photo of Addison and I, some journaling cards, more sticky notes on the back. And this is the instructional calendar that I told you guys about. I need to purge this out. I just don't want to forget to get one from the teacher. So I, I kept it in here to remind myself to not forget to get it because I did ask for it, but I'm waiting on it. Okay. And then this little page here that has my two pens. I have a highlighter at the bottom and then I have a Sharpie pen or I'm sorry, this pilot, uh, I can't remember the exact name of it, but I like this one. Um, so I keep it in here at the top. Again, all these pins are available at our shop as well. And then on the bottom, I have my highlighter. And then here is what I'm using to write, which is the Muji and 0.5. 
okay? So that is my planner setup, y'all. And so now that I'm back in, into it, I am going to start tweaking some things. I'm getting inspired and I'm trying new things and I can't wait to share with you guys the journey of that. It's always a journey, right? When you're planning and you're figuring out what's best for you in order to be productive. And so stay tuned because I'm going to share lots of content with you regarding what I'm planning on doing, okay? So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You got a little peek inside of my planner. And then I also showed you guys what inserts I'm gonna be using for August. Again, that may change. That's just for now. And if I feel like it's not working, then I'm going to scrap it and we're gonna go back to what worked before or try something else new, okay? So that's it, you guys. This was so enjoyable. I miss it. Sometimes it takes for you to just dive back into something for you to really realize how much you missed it. And I miss you guys. Did you miss me? I hope you did. I'm back though, okay? I feel like also sometimes you have to take a little time away from your planner. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? And my heart is definitely fonder. So that's why we gotta get back into this planning. I have been planning. It's just been more on a digital level. And that has worked for me too. So we're gonna keep them combined. Um, but I do feel like a physical planner is where I am able to achieve the most and get the most done so we had to start using it again so I appreciate you guys for watching today hopefully you enjoyed this video too so much so that you will give me a thumbs up if you loved it you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and as always I want you guys to come back and catch another video in which case I'll see you then